Hello, Tyler McAllister here with RV Sales of Oregon. Today's coach a 2013 Itasca Sonova. Floor plan is a 35G. It's on a uh, Ford V10 chassis, one piece windshield. I just got back from a trip with my family, my wife, uh, Debbie, and my daughter, Jasmine. And this coach really did a nice job for us. It's a great coach to uh, entertain. You serve the food on the inside. You cook it up on the outside. It's a, it's a great driver. It pulled all the mountain passes really well. Um, and like most Winnebago's, everything was pretty much flawless. Um, everything worked on the coach. The used coach got like uh, 22,000 miles on it. Um, just a great coach. 22 and a half inch tires. Um, Alcoa aluminum wheels side doors it's a triple slide so i'm going to kind of slide under here you got a little storage there okay they're all side hinge barn doors you got storage here nice big storage bay there storage bay here right of course one of these is your uh, dining room dining room slide we'll get to it in a minute full body paint uh, mid door entry storage space Again there, that's, um, that's your lug wrench and whatnot you might need in case uh, you have a flat tire. But I never advocate changing tires uh, on these things. I always have someone do it. It's too much weight and it's just way too, way too involved. We're supposed to be out enjoying things. Uh, large patio awning. Awning starts right. It's got toppers on all three of the awnings or on all of the slide outs. Um, you got a patio awning that starts right here, runs all the way down the coach here and it's about an eight or ten foot awning so you get good coverage. Um, I actually had the barbecue and the picnic table out here. Um, outside entertainment center's got a flat screen TV, a Jensen DVD AM FM uh, CD changer in there so that works well. Propane's right here. Easy access. It also has a, a fitting on it to where you could run a barbecue out. I didn't but um, you could do that as well storage space again here in the back lots of space we only went for three days so we didn't have a lot of gear but it but it really performed well the other thing I like about this coach is is that the ground clearance is real high it doesn't there's not a lot of tail swing but um, it's got good ground clearance ladder if you want it and if you need it um, over here bedroom slide out storage space again here's your generator it's a 5500 quiet gas generator. Fuel fills right there, just so you know. Your wet base here. All your fittings and everything you need for your um, sewage and um, cable, outside shower, um, black and gray tank fills. You have another storage area here. It's a, a real large storage bay there. Another large storage bay here. So you could put uh, folding chairs, that kind of stuff there. Uh, triple slide coach. If you want to Google the floor plan, it's a 35G Sonova built by Itasca. Side cameras, those worked really well. Um, it's got sunshades too that snap on all the windows. Uh, the front windows here. So now we'll go inside and look at the floor plan, which is really the most important part of the coach. So start up here, it's got, um, it's got jacks, um, heated mirrors, a nice big flat dash area, backup camera, side cameras, um, stereo, AM FM stereo, um, jacks I said, it's got like 20 some thousand miles on it. Nice little workstation here, place to put stuff up underneath. Power shade, it's got a, a big um, privacy shade and a sun shade here. And then these curtains pull around to give you more privacy. Nice headroom for a guy like me. I'm about 6'4", so I have plenty of room to <coughs> excuse me, move around. Storage space up here. DVD Blu-ray player here <coughs> that's integrated into this TV over here. The nice thing about this coach is you take this table, you pull it out, you sit it over here. You've got these, these pull out, right? This is the Winnebago sofa. 
So this pulls out here. This one pulls out over here. I'm being kind of brief. Unfold the table. It folds out. There's a leaf on each side. You sit it right here. Everybody eats right here. You've got um, room over here to put um, serve all your food. Plenty of room to move around. You got four chairs. And once you pull this table and it takes this area, then you bring these chairs over and you got a really nice area to sit and gather with folks. And you got to remember that when you're using these motorhomes, you don't spend a ton of time on the inside, at least I don't, because we normally go in the summertime when it's nice and hot. Um, so we barbecue outside, like most people, and then we serve the food in here and then we go on and do whatever we're doing. In the evening, this pulls out into a very large, comfortable air bed. So those two pieces come out. This comes out in the center. You've got a nice big sleeping area for the kids. The TV's right there. You fold all this back up. It goes over here, and you've got a lot of room if you want to play games. Um, if the kids want to sleep on the floor, maybe not pull out the bed, you can do that. Big TV. You've got uh, MCD shades throughout the entire coach. So it gets nice and cool. Dual airs, ducted AC. Um, nice cooking area back here. You've got a nice pantry here. Another nice set of drawers here. Drawers down below here. Three burner cooktop. Plenty of room for my wife to cook. We had uh, burritos one night, so we were cooking beans. We were, we were heating up meat and I was cooking tortillas out on the barbecue. Tons of room. Microwave if you want to warm up potatoes. We pre-cooked potatoes, brought them with us. Pre-cooked the chicken, brought it with us. And you just pop it in the microwave. It was real simple for everybody to eat. Linoleum throughout the entire coach all the way back into here. Easy to sweep out and keep clean. If you've got three or four kids, no problem. Tons of space. Um, it just really worked out well. I was surprised. Nice area here to store stuff. You've got your stainless steel sink here. More storage space down below here. You've even got a spot to put your, um, your sink covers down here in the side. Over here, four door refrigerator freezer for uh, four of us. I said my wife and my daughter, that's three, but then we had a friend stay too. We had this thing just absolutely packed with food. We were gone for three days. We could have easily stayed for a week. So <coughs> capacities are great. Um, you've got a couple fantastic fans here. So when it gets really hot in the evenings, if you need to, or in the morning, you want to get some fresh air, you just pop these open. They have uh, max air covers on top of them. So you're not going to have to worry about rain coming in or any moisture. Get some nice fresh air going, open up a few windows. This area back over here, I didn't show you. This is all storage space across here. So really, if you take this thing and go to like Disneyland for a week or something like that, it's easy to set it up. It's really functional. Instead of having a booth and everything over there, people are kind of evolving into more um, modular space. So you've got a lot more room to move around in. It's nice. The other thing about Winnebago that's pretty cool, all your main controls are right here. You got your chassis and your house disconnects are here. This is your step control here. Uh, awning out, in right here, power awning. Your levelers are right here. And um, your compartment lights. Turn your compartment lights on and off right here. If you get in the habit of turning your batteries on and off, on when you come into the coach and off when you get out of the coach, it's going to save a lot of life and a lot of expense and batteries. Level the coach here, pop your awning out, you're done. Your step's on, you turn it off, your step stays out while you're getting in and out of the coach and when you get ready to leave, you just turn it on and open it up, or fold it up. Pocket door closes this area off here. Got a nice size shower. I'm a pretty big guy, um, but the shower is adequate. It works fine. My wife and daughter, you know, they're a lot smaller than I am. Still, it worked fine for what we were doing. And if not, sometimes you go to the uh, RV park and you, you use their facilities. It's got an inverter. I think it's a, a 1500 watt inverter. 
Um, one of your AC controls is right here. This is your power line, your energy management system, so to speak. You start your generator right here, crank that baby up, and then you can switch over to um, generator. That'll run all your AC, your refrigerator, uh, front and rear ACs. Um, turn your gen off. Got all your uh, pump on and off, um, water heater, whether it's LP or electric and then your tank and your battery condition monitors are here. Here's all your slide outs right here. You've got driver's uh, side front, driver's side rear, passenger side front. This is a lockout, so you can lock your um, slide outs in the in or out position, whatever you want to do. And then this is the on and off switch for your power uh, to your slide outs. Decent sized bathroom. Nothing to really ride home about, just really functional. That's, um, that's what I like about this coach and a lot of the Winnebago products. You got storage space where you can put um, medicine, you know, ibuprofen, whatever you want to, shave and cream. A couple drawers down here for the girls. Space in here if you want to, to put a little um, trash. Trash can if you want, a little towel bar, and a nice little mirror. And once again, a fan so you can evacuate some of that hot air. Back here in the bedroom, flat screen TV. Um, you could run another, um, it's got all the, the rig in here for a, another DVD player if you want to come back and watch a movie before you go to bed. Kids are up front, you and the wife are back here. Um, nice size drawers, you got three of those. A wardrobe across here where you can hang all your clothes, you know, blouses, uh, sports shirts, whatever you want to do there. And then a couple bigger drawers down here for jeans and shorts and what have, what have you. Another closet area over here with um, one, two, three shelves and then hanging across here. That closes up. Rear window you got to have. Um, it's an egress window so if you have a problem you can jump in and out. And then the, the bed that a lot of people are going to, it's a power bed. Um, this bed actually flattens out it's very comfortable. It's also a uh, air bed, so you can crank up the firmness or make it softer depending on what you want on each side. Very comfortable bed. Um, storage space across here. Windows at each end of the slide out. You pull these shades down and this bedroom gets real dark in a hurry and it's nice to, uh, hey, I forgot a top. Um, you can black this room out and get a good night's sleep. Anyway, it's a 2013 um, Itasca Sonova. 35G is the floor plan. If you Google that or go on Winnebago or Itasca's site, it'll show you a schematic of this um, coach. It's available here at RV Sales of Oregon. We're located in Eugene, about 10 minutes from the airport. Pick up the phone, send me a text, whatever you want to do. The main thing is, is that you come here and see this coach, and if you like it, Take it home and go enjoy it. We work really hard for a living and sometimes it's just good to kick back and enjoy the fruits of our labor. Thank you.